guys, welcome back to My Little Parrots. And today's video is going to be about what it is like to have 11 birds. As you know, some birds may not get along. So I like to let my larger birds out together and my smaller birds out together. Right now my smaller birds are out, which include Tinkerbell, Ice Cream, Sky, and as you can see, Ollie's out. So if you're wondering why my one of my larger birds is out, it's because Ollie is more gentle than my other larger birds. He's not as aggressive. So I'm able to let him out with my smaller birds. Like Angel, Mango and Icy, and Peeper. And later, I'll be putting these guys up and letting Petey, Raspberry, and Cherry out with Ollie. So that's how I keep them from, that's how I keep any accidents from happening. Come here, Ollie. There you go. You want to get on? No? He's like, I want the camera. That's what I want. That's, that's, Ollie's like, that's my main goal of getting the camera. Like, come here. There we go. Where are you going? As you can see, I also provide much space for them so they can be as separated as possible because sometimes even my smaller birds don't get along. And most of my birds do not get along. So Tinkerbell is bullied mostly, I think, out of all the birds. I don't know, maybe it's because he's older. So I have to mostly keep them separated from Peeper and Icy, Mango, and Angel because those four tend to want to bully him the most. But he doesn't really fight as much with ice cream, so I'm thinking they might get along later on. I don't know. And like I said, later on I'll let these guys out and sometimes Petey and Raspberry don't get along. And Terry is also bullied by the birds. Um... Like I said, I have to keep my birds separated. And I think if you have two or more birds, I'd recommend them keeping them separated if you just got them because maybe they don't get along. So you don't want to just rush into putting them together because you don't want accidents to happen. There you go. There we go. Good job. Now I'm going to be moving on to, you want to make sure you have plenty of space and the right size cages for each of your birds. So as you can see, um, this is a perfect size cage for Sky and Angel. This is a perfect size cage for Tinkerbell. This is a perfect size cage for Ice Cream. And that is a perfect size cage for Raspberry. So you want to make sure that you have the right size cages plenty of toys and if you run out of toys you want to at least make sure they have three or more toys because if not they're either going to start screaming or they're just going to get grumpy because birds get bored very easily and you do not want that to happen another thing how much do birds cost themselves ollie was a very expensive bird ice cream was also very expensive um so is tinkerbell and so is Mango, and each bird has a different price. So, you know, if it's your choice of getting a bird, you wanna think about the cost, you wanna think about the space, you wanna think about how many birds you want to get. If you're a first time bird owner, I would recommend just getting a smaller size bird. Make sure just one. Just get used to owning a parrot because if you get more than one bird, it's just harder. So be prepared because the more birds you have, the harder it is. So you want to make sure that you have plenty of space and plenty of time and you're not gone, you know, sorry, and you're not gone, you know, too long because they need a lot of attention, they need feeding time, and it doesn't really matter what time of day you feed your parrot. You could feed your parrot at night. That's when I feed my birds. You could feed your parrot in the morning. You could feed them during the day. It doesn't really matter when you feed them. You just have to find that time at any time of the day to give them, you know, cuddling time or, you know, just talking time. Just to get them used to you if you just got your parrot. But if you already have a parrot, 
I bet you're doing a great job. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something valuable today. Thank you guys so much for watching My Little Parrots. I will see you guys next time.